The Pilgrim Center of Hope was started as a Catholic evangelization ministry in 1993 with the blessing of Archbishop Patrick Flores, the, the Archbishop at that time. And over the years, we've come to define this ministry uh, with th three different sections that we call three nets. First of all is the, uh, the net of conferences. And every year we plan a Catholic men's conference, a Catholic women's conference, and a Catholic seniors conference. And then the other uh, is uh, we call um, uh, outreach ministry, involves uh, the media, radio, uh, presentations and parishes. And then the third net is pilgrimages, taking journeys of faith uh, to Catholic destinations. And, and of course, our specialty is the Holy Land. And people realize the Pilgrim Center of Hope is a place of ministry, a place where a lot of things happen and where it all begins and it goes out to the world. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't realize it's a residence and it is a residence for Tom and I. Mm -hmm. And uh, so since its founding in 1993, it's been our home and we're very happy to be living here. It was it's such a, a grace and a blessing. It's So what exactly do we live? People ask, well, where do you live at the Pilgrim Center of Hope? We have to recall that the Pilgrim Center of Hope, the building where we're located used to be a convent. And so we moved into a, a corner of the building where, where there was a bedroom, a small sitting area and a bathroom. And those are our living quarters. And so, of course, we make use of the kitchen that is located in the building itself that is used for other events here at the Pilgrim Center of Hope. So uh, what's, a, what's a day look like at right. the Pilgrim Center of Hope? Well, no two days are exactly the same, but with, sure. with one exception, that uh, prayer, uh, mm -hmm. prayer is, is, is essential. Uh, I know. Uh, this is a, uh, it's a mission. It's a, it's a calling from God, and so we have to be connected to God, who we call our CEO, uh, through, uh, through daily prayer. And, and what really facilitates that is the fact that we have a chapel uh, we, uh, on, on property uh, with the tabernacle and the Blessed Sacrament. So what, you know, what, a, what a blessing to be able it to is. have this intimacy with the Lord. And the chapel is called Gethsemane. So our day starts with our CEO, the Lord. We, in fact, our staff starts with us in the chapel, which is really a great grace for the whole staff. Imagine meeting in the chapel. We start with Liturgy of the Hours and concluding with the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel, uh, the Archangel, asking his protection upon the ministry, upon each one of us and all those who give us their intentions. And then after they leave and return to their offices, Tom and I continue with the Holy Hour, which consists of silent prayer, spiritual reading, and a rosary. And in that prayer, we always include intercessions, of course, with, um, for you, for our benefactors, our friends, those who are connected with the Pilgrim Center of Hope. And, you know, after, after we pray, which is really important, Tom, we, not only do we have that, we walk out with this fresh start in the day, we go to our offices. <laughs> yeah. everybody, everybody has their own office. office. And of course, we have... Uh, a lot of resources that we have collected over the years, many, many uh, books and, and things from our sacred travels, art. sacred art. Uh, we have an apostolic blessing from uh, St. Pope John Paul II uh, hanging in the, in the office. And, um, and then, of course, uh, we have all of the, we everybody is involved in, in, a, uh, in, a, in a combined effort. Uh, researching the different th the, those three nets that I had talked exactly. about the, uh, the the pilgrimages, the the conferences, the uh, digital yeah. media. And Everybody has their their part in in, the, in completing the mission of the Pilgrim Center. Program. And what's so beautiful about our staff? Uh, we call ourselves a missionary staff because all of us not only include prayer, but we also include our faith in all that we do. So at the beginning of each year, each staff member is asked to. Um, embrace a saint and ask that saint to walk with them every day through with their through their life but with their prep with their work and monthly we have a staff luncheon so our staff gathers at, at a meal and then we share a little bit about our saint and it's so interesting to get to know about the saints that way but every Monday we begin the week with a staff meeting of course because of so much that goes on here at the Pilgrim Center of Hope we plan and we assess but with it, before we do that, we have faith formation for about 20 minutes. 
which is very important. So we're growing together, not only as the staff in our faith, we're praying together, but we're meeting and planning this mission of evangelization. It's great. So within that, we have faith formation, and the faith formation is usually a papal document that's related to our mission. And there's so many papal documents that are so interesting. Every day at 3.30, then the secretary rings the, um, a, a bell, and we all leave our offices, and, and we go to the chapel. And the first thing that we do is we consecrate ourselves to the Holy Spirit using a prayer given to us by Archbishop Gustavo, who yes. is, of course, a, a missionary of the Holy Spirit. And then after the consecration, we pray the chapel of divine mercy together. And, uh, and of course, that, that chapel, uh, that, that prayer is for the ministry, but it's for uh, people that, that have asked yes, us to pray for them. We right. have a, a basket of, of intentions before the altar that uh, is included in that prayer. That's right. So everybody who, all of you and everyone who entrusts their prayers to us have printed out, written down, and placed before Jesus in a tabernacle on our prayer basket. So continue to send your prayer request. And so then, you know, what happens in the evening? So you know, our staff leaves and Tom and I, we either have presentations, activities. Well, even, or but even before that. We have visitors that come in during the day. They'll yeah. stop in to either visit, stop by to see and pray in the chapel or gather resources. Some have even come in from out of town and say, I happen to be in San Antonio. I've heard of the Pilgrim Center of Hope, and I would like to have a tour. So one of our staff members are always so gracious in offering a tour of those interested. And believe me, it's a very interesting tour because there's a lot to see at Pilgrim Center of Hope. So Pilgrim Center of Hope is a lively place. And when it's nothing is really going on here in the evenings, there are some <coughs> things happening uh, and most Saturdays as well. Those times um, we have for ourselves. Too. Yeah, well, of course, I'm also a deacon of St. Matthew. Right? Sometimes I'm, I'm called to do uh, diaconate ministry, uh, diaconate ministry there. Um, but our evenings are, uh, sometimes our work it might carry us a little bit on in, uh, in, into the evening, but otherwise, uh, just hopefully a time for prayer. Our, our, research. Our prayer and, and research and, and some relaxation. Right. So it's R&R. Uh, research and relaxation. <laughs> right. So this is life at Pilgrim Center of Hope. There is so much more to it. And I tell you, um, the blessing is the chapel. That is what we call the jewel of the Pilgrim Center of Hope. And for us to live here is a grace. Yes, we're missionaries of hope, Tom and I. We've consecrated our lives to God. We've given our lives to Him totally. And so we have this responsibility, yes, of having a chapel with the Blessed Sacrament. And there's been times when in the middle of the night I couldn't sleep so I can so easily have that freedom to go to the chapel and pray. So uh, we so, want to welcome you to visit us and call us if you have yeah. a group that wants to have a tour as well. But we are, we're, we realize how blessed we are. Every day yes. we give thanks to, to, God. to God and to all of you who helped to make this ministry possible. So Amen. Uh, thanks be to God, thanks be to you, and come visit. Yes.